everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I'll be taking a look at the DX Fudu Fudu Rabbit Tank Bottle from Kamen Rider Build. Uh, the name's kind of a pun. Um, obviously full and fudu sound the same, so like full bottle, but fudu fudu also means to shake. Uh, which is how you activate the toy, so it's kind of a fun pun there. But uh, yeah, this is the bottle that Senta created on the show to control and harness the hazard trigger. Because before it would make him go crazy and he'd lose control, so he used this uh, to get the rabbit, rabbit, and tank, tank form. So he uses that in conjunction with the hazard trigger to harness its power. So pretty cool. I like the front of the box here. Nice design. Not really much going on at the bottom. This side just kind of shows all the different items it's compatible with. Cool picture of the bottle with the two forms there. The same kind of thing going on up top. So it just shows you how it works with the driver and then you have the full bottle buster down here which also has compatibility with but we'll get to that when we take a look at that later on. And it does come with three of these LR44 watch batteries already included so that's nice. But yeah, that's it for the packaging so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the bottle itself. So here is the Fudu Fudu Rabbit Tank bottle. Um, I've elected to leave the pin in for the time being. Uh, I've played with it a little bit and I kind of put the pin back in. Mine's not as finicky as some of the others I've seen videos of. Um, but it does, you know, it, it doesn't take much to activate it with the shaking function. So I just wanted to kind of take a second to show you. You have this kind of silver side and the gold side. Uh, this has the ability to uh, turn around like a normal full bottle, but I can't tell that it does anything. And then on this side you have this which can turn for the green, the rabbit, and the tank. Um, now that's purely aesthetic. That does not, neither of these activate any kind of sounds or anything. Here is where the three watch batteries are. So if you ever have to change them, you would just uh, slide that off. I think you actually unscrew it right there. And then slide it off and you can change the batteries. And then here is the rail system for the um, driver. And it says it's number 98. 098. So if I go ahead and take this out, and like I said, I can kind of move it around and it doesn't go crazy on me. Um, so that's nice. If you shake it, you can see it starts out with rabbit. Then it would it does this pulsating sound because it wants you to put it in the driver. Um, if you let it sit, it, now it'll flip to tank. And if you shake it some more. And then again, it'll pulse it like it wants you to put it in the driver. But if you let it sit, it'll eventually time out. So there you go. Um, yeah, I just, I guess I don't understand why. Like, I understand you're going to want to turn it just so it matches. But why not have this be what starts it? So, like... If it starts on green, you should be able to go right to tank or right to rabbit from the green. I guess how it works is just that because this side has the batteries, all the electronics are in this half. And this half is purely just for the rail system. I guess because of, because of the way you have to take it apart and snap it, they didn't have a way to like run wires from one to the other. I have to assume that that's why this is purely aesthetic. But it would have been nice if either A, this was like an on and off. Like if you, you know, turned this and that's what turned it on or something like that. Or if you could use this selection to just automatically jump to rabbit or tank. <laughs> it's making sounds. So, like I said, I have to assume it's because it would have been too hard to get electronics in both halves because of the way it, it bends in half. But... It would have been nice. I don't know. I feel like there's something they could have done. I don't know what. I mean, granted, I'm I'm no toy engineer. All right, I'm going to put this back in. So you just jam that back in and that'll turn it off. Um, so, like, when basically what happens is you press this button and then it opens up and then you're going to bring it around and snap it together. And then this is how you pop it into the driver. Um, now, when... You see this white button here, this tab pushes in this kind of clear button, and that's what makes it go back and know that it's in the stick formation, and that's when you can shake it again, because you can't really shake it in this form. Um, so like I said, because this plastic piece is all that's bridging it, 
I understand that it would have been difficult to, you know, click this and have it go grab it, and then you could shake it. Like, that's what I wish it did. I wish, you know, it was on the, when it was on the green, it made no sound. And then when you just switched it, grab it, and then you shook it, and then it would start doing the pulsing sound and pop it in the driver. Or again, turn it to green would turn it off, or turn it tank, and then you could shake it, and then transform it, but... Like I said, I have to assume the reason that wasn't possible was because of how it transforms. But what are you going to do? We're going to, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the driver and everything so we can take a look at the sounds that we get. All right, so the first thing you have to do is take your hazard trigger. And you have to put it to the next one, max hazard. So you connect that, then you shake this. Then you press the button. So there you go, now you are in the rabbit rabbit form. And then if you spin it again. So there you go, that is the transformation and then uh, finishing move for the rabbit rabbit form. All right, so starting again, I didn't even touch it. So there's your transformation into tank tank form. So there you go. That is the transformation and final attack for the tank tank form. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, it does have some functionality with the full bottle buster, but like I said, we'll take a look at that when we review that item. Um, I can completely understand why a lot of people find this toy to be annoying because it's kind of very finicky. It doesn't take much to touch it to set it off, and that can be a bit annoying. Um, but ultimately, I still think it's neat. I like all the sounds that we get from it. I like having the rabbit rabbit and tank tank form. I love the extra functionality that you can get with the hazard trigger. And it's just kind of like the more... I love it when the more toys you buy, it all builds and it all works together and it's all collaborative. And I like that. Um, but like I said, it would have been a lot better in my opinion if either A, this gray switch on this end was kind of an on and off switch. Or... This one, when it was in the green form, it wouldn't make any sound, and then you could just switch it straight to rabbit or tank, depending on which way you turned it, and then that would activate the sounds. I get the fact that they kind of had to contain all the electronics into one half because of how they're connected, so I get that. Um, but I feel like they do have the button. They have the tab over here with the button, so maybe when they were connected together, that tab pushing the button in would make it, and then maybe they could have had turned this 
would make the tab move because then you wouldn't really need electronics. You could have had something like turning this dial would make the tab in here just kind of move up and down and then it would, you know, the more times it hit the button, like two hits would mean it was rabbit or three taps would make it tank or something like that. I feel like there's some way they could have done it so they didn't have to run a wire. They could have had turning this you know, made that tab, and it was just like a spring-loaded gimmick in this half, and still have all the electronics in this half. There could have been something like that done, and I think it would have been neat. Um, so, I mean, you barely have to pick it up, so you, you kind of want to keep this, this little plastic tab handy, so that you can just kind of jam it in there, and then, and then you can move it all around, and you don't have to worry about the sounds. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, like I said, it's a it's a neat idea, and I like the toy. I just feel like it could have been a little better executed. Now, that doesn't mean this thing is absolute garbage. Far from it. I still think there's a lot of fun to be had with this, uh, because all the sounds you get with the driver are very fun, and I do like that. I just think they could have engineered it slightly better to have this really be more than just an aesthetic deal. I think this could have been the way to change forms, and I think that would have been a lot better. But, yeah, they just, I don't know, maybe a little bit more time engineering. And again, I don't mean to, to talk trash, because I'm certainly no toy engineer, and I, I don't know how difficult it is. These are just my suggestions. So, I still think it's a fun toy. Um, just know what you're going, know what you're getting going into it, because then I think it's not as annoying if you expect it, and you can use the kind of tab to find a, a way around it. And you can still have a lot of fun with this, just know what you're getting going into it so let me know what you guys think in the comments i'd like to hear from you let me know what you think uh please like and share the video and please subscribe i hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the dx furu furu rabbit tank bottle from common rider build and as always guys thank you so much for watching